Hey, what's up guys? If you would like to learn how to do this, then stick around. All right guys, so before we get started, I just wanted to say thank you real quick. 2018 was a great year. It's, it's New Year's Eve, so this is gonna be the last video of the year. I got a lot of new subscribers this year, and thank you to those of you that did subscribe. And if you're here and you haven't, go ahead and click down here and go ahead and subscribe to the channel now and go ahead and open up Adobe Premiere Pro and let's get started. Okay, so once you're in Premiere Pro, I've already got the footage that I would like to add the cinematic black bars to. So the first thing we're going to do is actually, um, you know, right, we'll just go ahead and click play. Hey, what's up guys? If you would like to learn how to do this, then stick around. Okay, so what we're gonna do is create a new adjustment layer. So I like to go down here into the bin and just right click and click new item and adjustment layer. And it's gonna go ahead and pull up, uh, by default the clip here is in 4K, so it's gonna go ahead and pull those settings. We're gonna say okay. And then what we could do is take this adjustment layer, click, hold, and drag it right above the clip. So now we have an adjustment layer laying right on top of the clip. And then go over to your effects. If you don't see your effects, click right here. And your effects window is like if you're in editing, uh, depending on your layout, you may, as you can see right here, it disappeared. So if we click on effects, we're gonna open up our effects and we're actually gonna look for crop. We're gonna drag crop on top of that adjustment layer. Okay, so if you double click on the adjustment layer, go to effect controls, you'll now see this crop section right over here. And you'll see top and bottom um, typically, so for example, if I make this 12%, that's usually what I make it on the top, 12% on the bottom. As you can see here, I have now uh, cropped out the top and bottom so you have the cinematic black bars. And now you could actually play around with the position of the video and whatnot. But uh, for the sake of the video, for now, I'm going to set this back to zero. So now we have nothing. So to get it to fade in and fade out, um, I actually saw it in a Peter McKinnon video where, you know, in, when he's talking, doing his talking scenes and he transitions into his B-roll, he likes to bring those cinematic bars where they just kind of close right in. And then same thing when they open right back out. So fade in, fade out. What we're actually going to do is we're going to scroll to where we want it to start at. If you would like to learn how to do that. So we're gonna actually going to start it. I want the peak to be right when I say this. So right about in there is where I want the peak to be. So um, what I want to do is just scroll back a little bit. What we're going to do on the top and the bottom is we're actually going to toggle this little time, toggle animation, boom, boom. So basically this creates these little keyframes. And those keyframes are just kind of like little in and out points saying, okay, right here at this point is where I want to start whatever effect we're looking to toggle on. So we're toggling at 0% right there. So right there, we're going to create another keyframe. You can just click right here, add keyframe. And then we're going to change that to 12%. On the bottom, we're going to do the same thing. Add right there, 12%. And boom. So what we're going to have here is a transition. How to do this. Okay, so right there, if we play this back. Hey, what's up guys? If you would like to learn how to do this. Okay, and our adjustment layer of course is ended. So we're gonna drag that out a little bit more. All right, so now we have the gist of the black bars. We have our first keyframe right here, which basically is telling us hey, that's up, where guys? we wanna start. If you would like to learn so how to do this. is zero there and then quickly it's fading into 12%. Then stick around. So if I wanna make a fade out here at the end, what I'll do is I'll probably right about in here, I'll click another keyframe. Let's get a little bit further. Okay, right there, we're gonna go ahead and add another keyframe on the top and the bottom. And then we'll scroll to the end of the clip. We'll add another one. And we'll change this to zero. We'll add another one on the bottom and we'll change that to zero. So now if we play this back, we'll have the fade in. Hey, what's up guys? If you would like to learn how to do this, 
then stick around. All right, so that's how we're gonna go ahead and do that little fade in and fade out of the cinematic black bars. You just, like I said, you're gonna create the adjustment layer, go ahead and throw the crop on there, add your in and out points, AKA the keyframes, and um, go ahead and set your crop. Like I said, I usually do it around 12%, but you can make it more dramatic if you want or a little bit less dramatic if you want. But that's the gist of it. So that's all you gotta do to get that going. Um, when I first started learning Premiere, you know, I, I took a roundabout method of doing that, but um, you know, this is what I've found to be the best way. And so far I haven't really found anyone showing how to do the fade in and fade out on YouTube. So I've kind of figured it out myself. I'm not a Premiere Pro expert, so if I can do it, then you can do it. Once again, guys, thank you guys so much for a great 2018. Please subscribe to the channel so we can make 2019 even better. And as always, we'll see you guys in the next video.